Hello there, Jane here with another app review and today we're going to be looking at Evernote for iPhone. Now, Evernote's been around ages and they've had apps for Android, iPhone and iPad for a while now, but they've recently updated their iPad and iPhone apps with some cool new features and a new look, so today we're just going to briefly show you the details and some of the new features as well. So when you first launch the app, you'll need to sign into your account and then it'll sync across all the notes, notebooks and tags that you've got already on your account. And this is the main page that you will now see, so it's now all changed to a lovely green colour. Then at the top you've got your shortcuts, so any shortcuts that you first set up will show here and it'll show your latest two at the top there and if you want to see any more you can just tap view and it'll list all those for you there. The next you've got your notes, so it'll list your last two notes that you've used and then if you want to see any more you just tap all and it'll show you and you can just scroll up and down to see the rest. Then you've got all the different notebooks, so every notebook you've got, again it'll list all the ones that you've used recently in the little box there and to see the rest you can just tap again and scroll through to get those. And then you've got tags, so for any tags that you've may set up with each note they'll all be listed in exactly the same way. Then down here you've got things like the Evernote Market which is the new feature. Then at the bottom you've got a quick note where you can do all your quick notes. So if you want to do a like a to-do list you just tap that, write it all up and then save it either into a, your inbox like your default box or into a notebook whichever you want to. Just delete that. And there's also a new feature now where you can make um, a photo of either well documents and a photo is normal, but it's also a chance to do a post-it now where you can take a poster of uh, sorry a picture of a post-it note, and when you do, it looks like this, like that. There, so I'll just show you again. So it looks like that and it'll be different colours depending on what colour the post-it note was. So mine was a yellow post-it note and it did that. So it takes a little digital copy of your post-it note so you can have lots of little post-it notes scattered across your notes now if you want to in all different colours. Now you can also add a note through the notes section like normal if you want to. You can do it that way or you can do it the quick way whichever you prefer. But I think it looks really nice now and it's really easy to use and it's already an app that helps you stay organised and I think these cool new features just make it even more easier for you now as well, especially with the shortcuts area. So that is the new update to Evernote. Let us know in the comments below what you think of it and if you use it yourself, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.